Hello, I'm Stephen Kaplan. Over many years of working with musicians, I've noticed the words we use to describe what we do, and this can be very insightful. You see, often when I ask an oboe player, how do you hold the oboe up? The answer I get is, with my thumb. This myth that only the thumb supports the oboe is reinforced by commonly used terms such as thumb rest and thumb supports. But if an oboe player truly believes that only their right thumb supports the instrument, this may lead to excess tension in the entire right arm, potentially causing pain and even injury. Some of the most common injuries that oboe players suffer are related to their hands and arms, including tendinitis, carpal tunnel syndrome, and tennis elbow. Pain and injury can happen because of overuse, but they also happen because of misuse. So it's important to be very clear about what actually supports the weight of an oboe. There are three points of balance for the oboe. First, the right thumb, which rests against the oboe and the thumb rest, and which bears the weight of the instrument. Second, the left hand, including the left thumb, which moves between the wood of the oboe and the octave key. And third, the embouchure, against which the reed rests. None of the three is completely stable, but that's okay. Embouchures move. The left hand must move quite a lot. The right thumb seems the most stable, but it too will move slightly for certain fingering patterns. Sometimes we think about holding the oboe and we grip with the fingers, trying to stabilize the instrument in a rigid fashion. But the combination of three balance points gives the instrument stability while allowing for movement at each of these points. To be completely comfortable holding the instrument, oboists must acknowledge all three movable balance points. Many oboe players understand that both their thumbs help hold the oboe, but they forget to also rely on the lips and jaw for balance. Others think that only the right thumb holds the full weight of the instrument. It's true that the right thumb is responsible for carrying the weight of the oboe. The left hand, however, serves as a counterbalance for the instrument. At all times, at least one finger of the left hand is on a key. The left thumb moves quite a bit more than the right, and at times isn't even on the oboe. But when it is on the oboe, either the wood or the octave key, it does help stabilize the instrument. Some oboe players ignore the left thumb and allow it to float freely in the air, thus losing some of the security of this counterbalance. To achieve a more secure feeling of balance, whenever possible, the left thumb should be on the wood of the oboe or on an octave key. Ultimately, though, your whole body holds the oboe. People tend to think that only a thumb holds the oboe. These same people would never imagine that the branches of a tree just float in the air without a tree trunk. Branches, of course, can only stay up in the air when they are attached to the tree. Once people acknowledge and actively engage the support of their legs and spine, then their arms begin to feel weightless, as if they're floating in air. But first they must find the connection from thumb to hand, hands to arms, and then hands and arms to the torso and legs. The reality is, a thumb doesn't support an oboe, a whole arm supports the instrument. Our arms feel supported when the whole body is in balance. My book, Oboe Motions, provides many details about how a whole arm really works and about how to find a more comfortable balance of the whole body. Mm -hmm.